Hi everyone, it's Jacqueline with Skin Perfect Academy, Skin Perfect Spas, and Color Me Perfect Cosmetics. So, I am just got up in the morning, so early for me, trying to get my day going, and I thought, I wanna show you guys a quick trick that I do every day with my makeup that might help you out. So, I already did a little light foundation because that's usually what I do right after my skincare moisturizer. But then I went to start my concealer, which I did a little bit on this part, and then I thought, oh my gosh, I need to show everyone at home how to do this. Okay, so with concealers, let me show you the two I keep. I have the Color Me Perfect Sand, and then I also have the Color Me Perfect Color Corrector. So the way I do this is I like to put the skin tone concealer right where I need it, which is the discoloration, okay? So I have kind of like a little bit of discoloration right in this area. So then I'm gonna take my finger and then just kind of blend that in, really focusing on that inner corner of the eye. Now, as I've done over here already, I'm going to do a highlight. Your highlight, you wanna create almost like a triangle of light right here. So I'm going to put in my triangle. And what that does is it highlights your cheekbone and it helps lift our face up. You can see on this side of my face, I'm so much more lifted than I am on this side. So once I put my triangle in, I'm gonna use a tapping motion and then also start to blend it over into the other concealer. As you can see, as I'm doing it, I'm starting to look like I have a light cast right on that area. And you don't have to blend it a whole lot. So now, look at that difference. And let me make sure that this here, I finished, cause I was kind of like had the epiphany <laughs> during my concealer application. So I may not have completely finished. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to show this to them. All right, so now I have the light cast and then I'm also gonna put on my eyelids cause I have just an eye cream. I'm gonna put a little bit of the concealer right here on both eyelids. And then I like to put right here this light. Now, I totally need my brows waxed and tinted, but that's gonna have to happen another day. So I'm gonna put this on my lid, the sand concealer to cover up any lid discoloration. And then I'm also gonna put this color corrector to pull up my eyebrow. Now look how that looks lifted now. It's amazing little trick. So then again, sand, I'm gonna blend right on my eyelid because I don't want necessarily my eyelid to come forward. I just need the color discoloration neutralized. For those of you that use a lot of the lash growth serums, I do, and then active eye creams with like retinol, we can get a lot of redness on our eyelid from the stimulation. Voila. So now I am lifted. I have this like triangle of light. It makes a huge difference. And then I'm going to take my baked powder and I will start to blend it. So I'm going to use my Kabuki brush and I kind of do this tapping motion throughout. You can do this also with loose powder. The reason I like the baked powder is I like a little bit added coverage. So now when I get to my triangle of light, I'm tapping because I don't want to blend it completely out. I want that light there. I want that brightness. And I'm tapping, tapping. The other technique you can use, just if you're more familiar with powder brushes, you can use these type of powder brushes and you can dust this way. So the difference is a Kabuki brush that I was using provides you with a little more coverage. The reason I like more coverage is I have melasma, so I have to usually stipple coverage so I can try to uh, conceal the melasma. I have, uh, it's like more from hormones. Ever since I got into my 40s, melasma has been my friend. I call it my friend because I don't wanna 
look at something as it's a bad thing. It's just my friend right now. And until my hormones straighten out, that's just the way it's gonna be. So anyway, I have my beautiful triangle of light. I'm gonna finish up by dusting a little bit of color on my cheeks and then also show you guys the bronzer and then I'll be finished. So yeah, it doesn't take very long. In the morning, believe it or not, I do my makeup in like 10 minutes. You just have to know, I, I call this makeup strategy. You have to know where to put color in light and shadow. So I'm dusting a little bit of color on my cheek. You always want it on the apple. And then I just like blend it with my fingertips. Same here. Okay. And then I'm going to use my bronzer, which is Mocha from our Color Me Perfect Bake Minerals. And I'm gonna suck in the cheek and kind of carve my cheeks out. There we go. And I like, because I have a large forehead, I put it up right on the corners of my forehead and across. So that, that now, notice how that brings the light right, casting right in the middle of my face. And then my jawline, just to make it sharper. And then sometimes, again, you can do bridge of the nose. You can narrow your nose if you want. And other than that, that's it. So that is kind of like how I create the look of light. So I hope this helps and you can use this trick at home. It's super easy. You only need the two products. You want your skin tone concealer and the color corrector. So let us know if we can be up help, colormeperfect.com. We can always help you out there. Also at any of our Color Me Perfect uh, spas that carry our product line and Skin Perfect. So I will see you next time. Take care. Happy holidays.